All right, Haley, this is for you, sweet girl. We're going to do a peacock. Um, I got a paper plate. And we're going to start by painting the ground. So we're going to have several different videos um, so that they can dry in between uh, each layer. Uh, so that means that you can either watch them all at one time or you can just watch them uh, and then go to something else and then come back whenever it's dry. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a background of blue. And then we're going to actually start drawing in the um, peacock. Okay, so I'm going to put some blue and I've got three different blues you can use I would use the lightest so I'm gonna put some blue on my paper plate and then I also want some white or if you have gesso that's even better okay because gesso is what's going to keep the paint from um, Gesso is, what, is what's going to keep the paint from uh, soaking into the paper. I would probably make sure to have some kind of rag with you. You're going to need some water, okay? Um, and then the other colors you'll need are almost all the red, yellows, blues. I think I already wrote that down for you, okay? So we're going to need, yeah, this is really just your base. <coughs> <clears throat> if you have one of these fan brushes, that'll be really good. Um, a round brush would be great. And then a flat brush with an edge would be good too. And I'm going to start by uh, mixing my blues together. And you could either stop the video or fast forward it so that you don't have to like watch the whole thing, okay? So I'm just going to give a base coat here. And I wish I had a bigger brush, but I don't. And I never mind using my hands. And what I'm working on is an easel, and then I'm also working on a drawing board, and then it, uh, my canvas paper is taped to the uh, drawing board, and that just kind of helps me paint. I usually paint like this, but I can also paint flat. And this is just going to be for our background. Uh, we're going to be actually painting on top of this. Um, it doesn't need to be really perfect. I had a bigger brush. I'm going to put mine on with this brayer. Now, you certainly don't have to do this, and mine's a really big piece. Um, so, this just kind of helps me. This is called a brayer. You probably won't have one at home, but it just kind of helps me um, put on the paint, I think. Oh, yeah, in a much quicker way, okay? Plus, it adds a little texture, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to do this part. You just go ahead and get your paint on your background, okay? See how much better that is? That is so awesome. And it's okay if it's kind of... If you miss a few spots, that's totally fine. And we have these in our art room, so. Okay. I want to make sure all of the paint is going the same way, the same direction.
All right, now I'm going to paint and draw. I'm going to show you how to draw the peacock. And we don't need to let this dry yet, okay? So I'm going to take my round brush, and I'm going to... Start by, I'm going to get some blue. I'm going to get a darker blue so that I can see. So there's the difference in color of my blue. And I'm just going to start, and I'm just going to paint draw on this. And all these layers are going to be done again. So my, my peacock is going to be kind of around here. Okay, so there's just a circle. There's going to be his beak. Like I said, we're just putting on these first layers. All of this is going to be colored over. We're just starting to draw, okay? And then we've got a really curved line here for his body. It's a little bit bigger. And the first thing you can do... Here. Okay, so this is going to be the first layer or just draw. Okay, so there's your body. Now we're going to start doing some lines. And again, there's going to be lots of layers on here, okay? And then we're going to do um, the little peacock flowers. And those look like a teardrop. I think you want to use some color, man, just to give them a little base. They'll be changing many different colors. Let's have this one and this one are going to kind of go off the page, okay? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and paint this a dark blue, and then I'm going to stop the video, um, let everything dry, and wash my brushes, okay? And you should do the same thing, and then uh, start video number two. And you want this really dark. And if you wanted to um, wait until the underpainting dried, you could, but it's not a big deal. I'm only going to paint, uh, I'm not going to paint this side, this is going to be a different color. Make sure your brushes and your paint always go in one direction, okay? If you have any um, thick pieces kind of sticking up, make sure to flatten those out, okay? All right, I will see you in video two, okay?